Good morning, everyone. It's Hanifa Menon here from hearthealthbrainhealth.com, encouraging you to have healthy grieving and take mindful actions. Today, I want to talk about the evolution of our consciousness. Now, I don't know if anyone out there has thought about this, but we are evolving consciously and we can choose to evolve. And the way that our evolution of consciousness happens is through the shifting quality of our attention. So remember that wherever we put our attention is what grows. And within us, our attention is capable and is changing. And it is moving along at a particular pace as we are evolving. And as we are evolving consciously, this doesn't happen on a linear fashion. It doesn't happen just sequentially. This happens simultaneously. It's just when we have an awareness of our focus of attention, we are changing the quality of our expansion. We are changing the quality of our experience. We are changing our consciousness or becoming aware of our consciousness. So I want to be able to talk to you a little bit today about this consciousness. And the quotation I'd like to share with you today is, once you start asking questions, innocence is lost. Once you start asking questions, innocence is lost. And you can understand this because again, in innocence, there is a complete trust. And I want to talk about the first stage of consciousness is innocence. And innocence, you can see in a newborn infant, right? You can see this in a new puppy too. You can see if you look into the eyes of a newborn, there is complete trust. There is no fear. There is love. There is such a pure energy that is coming from that child. And we can feel it because it resonates within the in innocence within ourselves. So it resonates with the innocence within ourselves. So we still have innocence within ourselves, even though we are beyond that infancy stage. Today, I want you to take a few minutes to look at the innocence around you. It could be through infants. It could be in yourself, just through self-reflection, with understanding the spaces that are in you that are still very innocent. They are completely pure and completely trusting of whether it's the universe, whether it's a family member, whether it's a really close friend, there is a complete innocence. There's complete trust. And that loving space is where we start with the evolution of our consciousness. There are known at least seven stages of consciousness. So the first stage is innocence, which is what I'm discussing today. After that is the birth of the ego. Then we have the birth of the achiever. Then we have the birth of the giver. Then we have the birth of the seeker. And then we have the birth of the seer. And then we have the birth of spirit. And I'm going to be talking about all of these stages in my next few videos to make sure that you understand how these stages do then affect our heart and brain health and how we can grow and benefit the world from our own expanding consciousness. Because the more we grow, we will see that we are actually expanding in a very positive way. We can choose to expand in a way that is less helpful or we can choose to focus our attention to different phases of our consciousness. And I hope that we will all grow together and help to spread some very good energy of awareness and improved consciousness throughout our world. Today, I hope that you will take time to recognize the innocence around you and within you. And I look forward to speaking to you next time on the next stage of our consciousness development. And until then, I hope you remember transform your mind, and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.